Hi everyone, welcome to tutorializing.com. Uh, this is the first video of the virtual car tuning in Photoshop series that I'm going to make. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace or change the brims of your car. Now, before you start, you need to find a decent image of your car and a decent image of a donor car that you will take the brims out of. And I found this Audi that I'm going to take the rims out of and this older version of the Audi that, I'm be, that I will be using throughout the entire series. In the next videos I'm going to show you how to change the color of the car, how to lower the height, tint windows, etc. But for now I'm, ju I'm just going to show you how to change the rims. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, make a selection of the rim and to do that you need to select the elliptical marquee tool just click on the icon, hold for a while and this menu will pop up and just you select the elliptical marquee tool. Once you select the marquee tool, just left click and make a rough selection around the rim. It doesn't need to be perfect, we, we're going to transform it anyways. So once you make a rough selection, you can just right click on the selection and select transform selection. Now that will give us an option to actually edit the selection we did to transform it. You can zoom in for, for a better view by pressing Ctrl and plus on the keyboard or minus to unzoom. Once you have a good zoom, just grab the ends of the selection and get it as close as possible to the rim. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can always have some, some of the tires selected. It doesn't matter, it will blend in with the image. So once you're satisfied with the selection, press enter and then right click and you can make a layer via copy or just copy the, the rim by uh, pressing Control c or go to edit and copy and then go to the layer to the tab sorry where the um, original images and press Control v or edit paste now we have the rim in our original image and before we start manipulating with it, we need to convert it to smart object. Now, to do that, you can control, right click, right click, and convert to smart object on the layer that we've created. And that will convert the rim to a smart object. Now, the reason we do this is because if it's not a smart object, and if we try to manipulate it, and somewhere along the way, we just make it too small and press enter and then we want to get it back larger again and press enter and you'll see it that transformation will destroy the actual image It'll, it will blur up and to avoid that we're going to convert it to smart object so just right click on the rim select convert to smart object and then if we try to manipulate it by pressing ctrl T scale it down press enter ctrl T again scale it up, press enter, you see there's no loss in quality. So that's the reason we need to have the layers in smart object when we manipulate them. Now we can position the rim, press Control T, right click and flip horizontal to get the proper angle. Then hold shift while scaling down the actual the actual rim because if you don't hold shift it will distort the image it won't scale down proportionally and if you hold shift the image will scale down proportionally and it will look better that way so just position it around the original image scale it up zoom by control plus and just try to fit it along the original rim of the car You can always do some transformation without holding the shift key as long as the rim still looks good. So once you're satisfied with, posi with the position, press enter. You can move it around a bit. You can always retransform it because it's a smart object, it won't destroy the quality. Press enter. And there we go. The rim is set. You can click this eye icon to unhide it and hide it again basically 
we can see if it looks good in that way and by the looks of it I think we are okay now we need to get the back rim as well the procedure is the same as the front rim you just select the elliptical mar marquee tool make a selection around the rim you can move the selection as well once satisfied right click transform selection you can rotate it scale it down and again if you're satisfied with the selection press enter control C copy the rim go to the other tab where original image is and press control V and there's our back rim now again we convert the other rim to smart object as well press ctrl T right click on it flip horizontal to get the proper angle and then we just set it up if you want to move through the, the image you just hold space and drag with left click so you can have a better view is set so there we go two new rims on our car and that's all in this video follow me in the next video when I'm where I'm going to show you how to lower the height of your car